Hey YouTubers, we're going to expand the channel a little bit into other things. Today I'm going to boil my deer skull. It is sitting in the water. There's no flame on because I'm letting it kind of thaw out so I don't break the bones. Last year when I shot it, I just cut the head off, skinned it, and threw it in the freezers. And decided I would do it this year when the weather got nicer because I ran out of time last year to do it. The eyes and the brain are still in it. I'm letting it thaw for about an hour, just in the normal water. What we're going to need for this part is we're going to need pliers, a drill, and a coat hanger. We're going to scramble the brains up so they'll float out better. So all I did was took a piece of coat hanger and put a little loop on the end to help break the brain up. We'll also need a pocket knife to cut around the eyeballs to get them to come out. Okay, so it's been in the water for an hour thawing. Gonna go ahead and remove the brain and the eyeballs. I already removed the tongue. The more you can remove before you do this process, the faster it'll go. I'm gonna go ahead and light the stove up, get the water warming up. So now what we'll do is we'll just scramble the brain up inside to let it come out better when it's boiling. Don't go too deep because you might risk puncturing the skull. So now that we've scrambled up the brain, we're going to take it through the hose and wash some of the brains out of it. So now that the water's warm, we're going to go ahead and put the skull in it. So we have it in the pot here. I have the water level just up above covering the skull. So that way it's not on the antlers itself. There's also a little tiny rock in the bottom on the bottom jaw to hold the nose bone off the bottom of the pan. Because I found the last one that I did. The weight of the skull busted the nose bones out of it. Bring it up to a boil and then we're going to kick it down. One of the nice parts about freezing it first and not letting it go rank before you do this is you don't have that disgusting smell coming from it. So now we got it at a slow boil. We're going to turn the flame down and continue to let it do its thing. It's been boiling for about an hour and ten minutes. You can go ahead and look at it, see if the meat's sloughing off the bone yet. It's starting to slough off. So we'll just let that boil for another half hour and check it again. Another thing you got to remember is you need to add water because the water level will go down. And you want to make sure to keep that skull covered. So it's been about three hours now. Let's go ahead and check it. There you go. Oh yeah, it's looking good now. So I think it's time that we just pull it out and see what we can scrape off. I'm gonna leave this kind of boiling. Okay, so now we're just gonna pick it off with the knife. See what we can pick off here. In the nose, this all right here is cartilage and can be removed. Just be careful not to damage the bones in the nose. As you can see, there's still meat in the nose and on the back side of the head. I'm actually going to stick this back in the pan and boil it some more. At this point, you have to be really careful because you've softened that nose up and it might fall off on you. So there's a lot of dirt, fat stuff in the pot. So I'm actually going to go ahead and change the water. By changing it, it allows it so that the fat that's floating in it doesn't stick to the skull. Because you're trying to pull all the fat out. If you have fat in there, it will yellow up. Now we have the base of the head stuck down in the pot. We're going to boil the meat off of that. Hopefully the steam coming up from it will soften the cartilage and stuff inside the nose. And we can pull that out easier. 
So it's been in there about 45 minutes. We're going to check the back of it and see if it's soft enough to pick off. Just about there. We'll give it another 20 minutes and pick the back of it off. Okay, so now that it's boiled, the meat's soft, we're going to go ahead and pick the it off. All right, so to help knock off the rest of this stuff, we're going to use a green scratcher. I have this little tiny wire brush that came with a Dremel set. I'm going to use that to get the little bit of meat off the back in the small cracks. So I've picked on the skull for a couple of days. You need to take some time and pick off all the meat on the back. Might have to get some dental tools to pick some meat out of the crevices. Now what we have is a pot of hot soapy water. We're letting it break up the fat so that it'll whiten up and it won't yellow later on. It's all done. That's how you boil a skull. Any questions leave in the comments. I'll try to get back to you. So subscribe so you can see how to whiten it in the next video.